Okay, wait, let me make sure this is going on. Yeah, microphone's on, great. Okay, so we're back again. So let's talk a little bit about a standard deviation. Really important because we're interested um, in spread of data. And this provides a idea of that, right? And it, what it also does when we look at spread, right? It provides context for observations. So when we think about this, right? You know, it gives us of how it gives an idea of where most observations lie. And what is truly unusual behavior? So depending on like what the context is, right? You know, what's uh, it can be like very very useful into like what we're actually going to do, right? So let's uh, we'll use this for the working example for this one, right? So we'll pick this ink, right? And so let's say that I am a drug dealer. So if I'm a drug dealer, right, um, or I'm a drug dealer kingpin, because I don't want to be at the bottom, right, I want to know who sells the most. So if I give them drugs, who is finding people to sell to? So who is giving me money? So who gets money? Who gets a raise? Um, you know, who trains others? Because I want my good ones to help out my other ones. And maybe who gets promoted? All are great uh, for this application into my drug hierarchy. So standard deviation is going to give us an idea of like how well someone is doing, right? So this is providing the context. So I'm interested in how well someone does. And I'm going to figure it out uh, by myself uh, because I'm really bad. I went to a stats class and I, uh, you know, learned how to do this. So I'm going to figure it out on my own. I know what's up, why it's important, right? So we're, we'll check back and we're going to do um, first step, right? So let's do step one, and we'll pick uh, go back to this color real quick. So step one, right, is to look at our formula. So what we end up finding, if we go back and look in our book, right, but we're, what we're end up going to do, right, is that we're first going to look at um, standard deviation and a variance, right? So we're going to look at a variance. And what it's going to tell us is that if we look up, first we're going to, we know that we're going to add, right? We're going to add up at x minus x bar. So this is a variation and we're going to square those, right? Then we're going to divide this by n minus 1, so the number of observations we have. And then to find, uh, so this is the variance. And then if we use s, and we're trying to, and this is our standard deviation, we're just going to take the square root over s squared, right? So that's the first thing that we're going to do. So step two. Now that we've remembered our formulas, right, we're going to uh, look at our data. So just for indexing purposes, right, here's what we have, right? So we know that we have six observations. So we have observation one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, it's only six. That's right. That's all I have prepped out. So we erase that. We're back here. And if we look at this, right, what do we have for data, right? So we see that the first person, right, we have five. 
Um, and then this person sold made two drug sales. We had a seven. We had a seven. Uh, we had a four. And we had a three, right? So this is what our data are telling us, right? So step three, this is gonna be what? We're gonna figure out the mean. So what does this uh, look like uh, per se, right? So if we look at the mean, we'll put this in a different color for extra emphasis. Um, how do you guys feel about that red? I know you guys care so much, right? So if we think about what exactly is the mean in this case, right, I add all these up. So we add all these up, divide by the number, and this mean is going to be 4.1234567, right? So we'll put the X bar symbol over here, right? And we're going to transfer all this down because we know it's the same mean, right? So in this column, right, we're going to do X minus X bar. Um, so this is going to be the deviations from there. So go ahead and solve this. So what you would do is 5 minus 4.667 and put this number here, right? 2 minus 4.667 and put that number there. For number 3, 7 minus, uh, minus 4.667 here, right? And then in this one right here, we have this third column. Um, and we'll put this as x minus x bar squared. So we're taking the deviations over here, out of here and we square them. So I've already done this part. So we'll go ahead and put go back to our color. So what this has, this is going to be to seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to be um, Uh, seven point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this should be five point four, two, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what is going on? Um, another seven is five point four, 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 and this one is zero point. Four, 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 four. And this one is 2.788 or seven, seven, seven. We'll erase that real quick. All right. So, what did we just do there, right? So four, we find the deviations. Number five, we square the deviations. And then number six, step number six, right, is to add Square deviations. And for our purposes in this question, I already did the math on this. And so this is going to be, comes out to about 21.33. So then step seven, uh, we're going to divide. by n minus one. So in this case, this is gonna be 21.33 uh, divided by five, since we have six observations for dividing by n minus one, which is gonna be equal to five. And what does this give us, right? So this is gonna be equal to four point Erase real quick. 4.266 usually. And this 
equals our variance from earlier, right? So this is S squared or the variance, right? And to find the step eight, if we are gonna take the square root of the variance, and for us, right, so this is going to be square root of 4.266. And this is going to be equal to 2.066. Like we round it to three places, right? So we'll put a little box around that. So what do we do with this information then, right? So if we, we found the standard deviation, we figured it out, and this is something that's uh, really great and key. So what do we look at this, right? So if we take a look at a graph, we'll go back to this color, because I like it, this color, right? We know that there was uh, someone, um, if we had like this histogram, right? We had like one person, if we graph this data, right? So we have this and we have it here, right? What do we do with this, right? So we know already that this right here, we'll call it, we'll say it's X bar. And we found this mean is equal to what? What was that? I can't remember real quick. I have it over here. Uh, it was 4.667, right? And based off of these data, right? Uh, if we drew a little little marker, a little marky poo, right? So we'll call that four, and we'll choose like so. We find one standard deviation, so one, two, three, four, five, and we'll call it here as well, just for illustration purposes. So we'll say so. This is these yellow are one SD away from the mean. So we know from something called the empirical rule that 68% of all observations fall within one SD, one standard deviation of the mean. And we also, it also tells us that if we draw right here, one, two, two, that 95% of observations fall within two standard deviations of the mean. So how would we use this information, right? Um, like if we were using this, right? So if we think back, if we look back at our data here real quick, in case it was here, right? So we saw that five, blah, 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 right? 2.667. So we see a couple things, right? One, most of our people are doing about right, right? They're within this chunk kind of stuff. Although the people, if we, um, we could go back here. So if we go back and look at it, so we know that most people are staying close. Close. But those people with sevens, sales a day, are unusual, or are a bit unusual. And so maybe they should uh, sell more or get promoted. So they're on like the positive side, that standard deviation, they're above the mean um, because they are above mean. At the same time though, we look at, you know, there's that person who only is selling uh, like two, right? So that person, so person with two sales, um, not so hot. 
well outside expectations are you know our standard expectations and so we might choose do use that information to do things we might like talk to them because like hey are you skimping my money what's going on problems at home why aren't you selling how often are you selling maybe it's a new corner maybe it's like some problems that i could go i could go to address right we could train them you know, I'll use my sevens in order to do that. We could reassign them because they're not doing so hot. Uh, maybe they need more protection. So it's a change in my practice, right? So maybe like that person's always getting robbed. And I can't have people robbing and steal my product, right? Or we could kill them, you know, because I'm a drug dealer and I got to make money, right? Point being is that just like based off of that information that I had, I was able to alter my approach based on how far of an expectation is, right? So they were well outside and I have a, and I can use that information to make a few decisions about like what to do, right? So that's just an example of like why this information is useful and how one might use it if one were a drug dealer. Of course, you can, you know, apply this to uh, the other contexts, right? Um, yeah, so hopefully that was useful um, and you would walk through again, encourage you to look at it a few times and uh, see you guys uh, next video.